All right, hell yeah. So what we got going here is it's winter time and everything is frozen over and I still want to paddle some water. So we filled up the tub and hell yeah, this works. So let's just get to it. I've done this, this is the third day doing this, so I, I kind of get it, got it dialed. Uh, simplest is just paddle back and forth just using your arms. Now paddling with your arms kind of sucks, but at least you know it's something. And if you go all the way forward, all the way back, the water really doesn't slosh, you know what I mean, uh, out of the tub. So that's kind of cool. So this is kind of where you're going to be. And it's probably a good workout because as paddlers, we don't paddle back, you know, too much at all. And so probably the muscles that you use back paddling uh, will be really good. And, uh, okay, so uh, a couple... So I'm going to do uh, two scenarios that you can actually do that are kind of fun. Um, one is uh, on the backstroke, you know, drag the paddle kind of up your thigh, and that kind of simulates, um, you know, having the boat right there. And, uh, you know what I mean, kind of with the back, you can kind of rotate off of it, but kind of put some pressure just right into it, and that kind of stabilizes your stroke. If you're getting into R1 rafting, you know what I mean, it's kind of, it's all about having, uh, well, you, you again, you don't do a lot of back paddling, but what you do is a lot of prying. You know, every paddle stroke comes to right here with a real solid pry. And so uh, just having this uh, drag against your hip will really simulate just a really good pry. Uh, the other, this is my offside, so I came up with one other scenario where I can help my paddle stroke is right at the end I'm going to turn the paddle 90 and then turn it back 90 and in the tub I got to do it real fast to maintain that pressure uh, but this simulates like hell yeah you know what I mean when you're when you're taking a paddle stroke R1 every paddle stroke has to end with a pretty aggressive pry or rudder um, so this helps you know kind of just dial in the quickness of that and now we're going to combine the two we're going to paddle forward do our little pry and then brace right across our thigh and uh, hell yeah i mean combining these three things i mean man this feels like a that feels like a paddle stroke you know what i mean so uh the first couple days it was just using my arms back and forth but uh, hell yeah now we're working on kind of the technique and this is my offside so this this will this will uh, go a long way. And that's the crazy thing about boating. Now, if you just live in a lifestyle or live in an area where, you know, the river is just five minutes away, I mean, we live in a, I mean, a, it's a sport where just there's, there's very few people that get to have that. You know what I mean? My closest fun piece of water is two hours away, hour and a half. So, uh, you know what I mean? I guess what I'm getting at is like if you only paddle 12 times a year you can get pretty good at paddling uh, but just think if you're paddling every day you know what i mean even just doing this once a week obviously not doing this in a tub but maybe getting out to a lake flat water paddling is definitely what do they say underrated uh but hell yeah um so that's what we're doing doing a little pride and then uh making sure we got a good r1 stroke Hell yeah, look at that R1 stroke. Oh, hell yeah. It's just, it's just, I feel like I'm going through a rapid. All right, well, thanks for joining me. And uh, no one's going to do this except me. I, I know that. I know that. All right, thanks for joining me. And that's a video.